Sorry we haven't had a whole lot of commentary up here it's in doubles. Um, we've all been playing. So we have Merrick and uh, Gemini versus Gunta and Ducks. And I'm actually surprised to see him going Fox and Wii Fit. I'm not sure what the Wii Fit's about, but it is Gunta, so who knows? He knows how to use everyone. Sorry. Hot and ready. We have hot and ready here, guys. Hey, I'm here. saving me from commentating. <laughs> okay, so we got Gunta and Ducks. Um, these guys are actually playing random, or is Ducks actually going Fox? He's going Fox. Um, I, I think because it's Bayonetta, you have to take it somewhat seriously, because it's not fun to go random against Bayonetta. Yeah. You really gotta... I think one of the biggest things about whenever it comes to Bayonetta is that it's like in this age... Like, she came out in this time where everybody thinks that it's about counterpicks and matchups. I actually enjoy playing against Bayonetta right. myself. I don't have a problem with it at all. We have some of the best in the state right here at our yeah. weekly, so it's nice to have that experience. But you know, um, like that being said, you get you can definitely tell the flaws in the characters in the in the players play. Not, yeah, not absolutely. just like Bayonetta, you know. Yeah. So I think that's that's a big thing that really matters before you actually end up trying to be like, okay, well this character does better, so I should play this character. No, I absolutely agree. <laughs> but Ducks, I'm against counterpicking myself. I, I'll yeah. say it all the time. I I think that oh, most characters you. don't need a secondary. Most. Most. <laughs> but definitely some. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Getting that quick side B spike right there. The noggin. And Ducks is doing a great I, job of being a tank. I think that he's in kind of that purgatory, or he was, where all the combos don't actually lead to a kill mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah, it's definitely a thing that uh, you see Merrick and Gemini try capitalizing off of, is just going for those combos right at the beginning, trying to get those witch twists as soon as possible. But it's really easy to kind of stay alive in those uh, higher percents until it's a kill that, throw. That'll be it, man. That happens, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when we were playing in Seducts and Goon today, they literally put their characters on the random button. They yeah. didn't choose random characters. They let the RNG gods pick for them. Mm -hmm. And look where it got them. Yep. And the losers. losers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> true. 
but Ducks and Gunta, these guys are definitely capable of doing some amazing stuff in doubles. Mm -hmm. But they just decided to, I guess, be a little bit more leisure. I don't know, Ducks is trying to get his head in the game, but Gunta is still, still being on random. Oh, are you trying to bring up uh, yeah, it's not actually open. There it is. Which is now it is. Yeah. It was that. No one had it on. All right. Sorry about watching apparently friendlies for the past two hours. Oh, that's what it's all been. Yeah. No, no, no. We don't have tournaments here. Get you nice and updated here, guys. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright. And we're just going to leave that as doubles. I cool. do not know what round it is, and I'm not too worried about that. We all know it's doubles. That's true. And also, of course, Merrick and Gemini both playing Mario against Gunta and Ducks, who are both playing Luigi. So. Yeah, that doesn't matter. It that doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. You know we're, who they're it, playing. It's the Mario and yeah. Luigi. It's a it's one first and second player. Right? Mm -hmm. That that's all it means. <laughs> first player, second player. I'm not gonna worry potato, about that potato. one. Potato, potato. I'll I'll change it for singles for you guys. We could put a bayonet here. We'll put a bayonetta down for you. <laughs> one bayonetta. I'm not sure if he actually. I think that's where you do it. Yeah. Yeah. If he actually uh, changed the name, but Bayonetta is easy to get to as well. All right, Bayonetta versus apparently Alomar now. Alf. Alf. Yeah. Because that matters. It does matter. Alomar and Alf are completely Alomar different characters. main means Alf. That's not true. Honestly, that's how I feel about it. I guess. I don't know. They're all Alf mains then. They're not Alomar. They're all exactly, but. They all pick the Elf No representation. Skins. Hey, look, no. Mario's actually coming into the match right now. So, Gunta, his Mario is pretty good. Yeah, it is. Gunta's that kind of guy who plays every single character. And, you know, he, he learns, like, a little bit of the, the tricks that he can with the character. And also his, you know... He learns them so quickly, too. He yeah. doesn't own a Wii U. No, he doesn't. Still doesn't own it. He just decided that he's just going to wait for the Switch to come out. That's what he told me, like, months ago. I'm not well, sure it's gotten him. He's still an amazing player. Fun story is, remember back in the day when Lo One won that radio tournament? Mm -hmm. I bought the uh, Wii U that he won from that because mm -hmm. he didn't need two. Um, and I actually outbid Gunta for it. So he says that, oh, I don't want one, but he wanted one. Yeah, he definitely he wanted did. one that one time. And he also wants to get out of this oh. bad situation. And I, it might have been worth just letting it happen at that point. We're I trying so, to go yeah. and punish the forward smash instead. And Merrick? It's just, Merrick and Gemini right now are getting all kinds of wish twists, but you know, over time that's going to diminish because the time's going to go lower. You mean the wish time? Yeah, the wish time okay. is going gonna, gonna to last for less and less time. Well, and right there, he uh, had used all of his uh, B moves, so he had to land and uh, smash there. Yeah, that was just perfect timing coming right there from green team, or er, from blue team. They should be playing green team. Yeah, they chose the green colors. <laughs> Nice save coming from Gunta. He wasn't just going to run in there. He was going to see if he could just get in with the back, and he finally got it. Oh! He almost that got was right smart, yeah. yeah. Bayonet is one of the characters that I've actually never seen Gunta play in bracket. He said that he wants to learn her because she has cool combos. I disagree with that. But uh, So it, it's cool to see that he still knows how to punish her, and right. he still knows right, what the right options are. I feel like the, the long... <laughs> The longer and longer, or the more and more people realize that there's things where you can punish, there's moments where you can punish Bayonetta, it's going to be a little bit easier to do the matchup. Mm -hmm. I agree. I th a lot of it, it's honestly learning the matchup, and people don't like to hear that, and mm -hmm. I hear some He's real salt right. when you say that, but it, it, it's a real thing. If you don't know, like, when to punish Bayonetta, you shouldn't be complaining about mm -hmm. it. You know, just, like, watch it. See why, see why you're getting hit and when you can hit. Ask okay. a Bayonetta player. These guys will tell you everything. Yeah, they will. <laughs> they, these guys are open... Uh, open doors whenever it comes to asking them about Bayonetta. And once again, like, that's the most devastating thing about Bayonetta is that you slip up once, even trying to punish Bayonetta, you're gonna get an easy 20% or even the stock. I was just so worried when he went for the down throw to forward smash because that, the Bayonetta has an hour to which time that, right. like, that was a scary option. Nothing happened, but... Maybe he was trying to charge and see if he could bait out the witch time. Because these guys definitely do like to witch time whenever they're in a disadvantaged mm -hmm. state. 
but it looks like Ducks and Goons are still getting hit by those Witch Times, even though they see it happening often. But there is one dead Bayonetta there and one Bayonetta at very high percent, so anything can happen. And Ducks has been doing a pretty decent job of staying alive early or long, but like, once again, Bayonetta's gonna get in. This is looking pretty grim for Ducks and Gunta. I know uh, Gemini has told me before that Fox, while it, he does get comboed super hard, you mm -hmm. cannot take him off the top as Bayonetta. Ah, it's very difficult to do. Yeah. So. Uh oh, that's it. Oh, oh no. It's not. Um, oh, Ooh, Gunta with wow, the tricks right he's there. Going for it. Slipping him up. And I do know actually this is uh, Gemini's least favorite matchup to play right here. Mm. So we'll see if he. Oh can man, right Gemini now. going for that witch charm right there. That Gucci's gonna get some it. good, some good punishes off that. Also, once again, a Randy up smash. That's really that's it's kind of okay in doubles because you know you never expect it happening. But right now there's only two players on the screen, and that's gonna get punished. <laughs> and Gunta's turning the sound really quickly. He is quickly. a very smart player. Gemini's right now is trying to go on those platforms, trying to slow down the pace of the match. But Gunta's just finding every single opening he can. Oh man, almost oh, hitting the wish time punish once again. Both of them were almost dead there. And 1% difference. Yeah, 1%. Finally got the lead. Uh oh, but here's the wish time. Might be it. Or the wish twist. I think that was the hit. That's it, it was. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Gemini that was very close. Staying calm and collected. He was looking for that one opening. You know, Gunta got that opening so many times, but Gemini just needed it once and he finally got it. He's going to take that. 